Hey, if you're in the HVAC or building automation control game, you know the importance of humidity sensors, getting good, reliable humidity sensors. Hey, hey, what's up, HVAC Control Pro? Eric Tromp was here from Control Trends. Humidity sensors not all created equal. If you want to find out more about this, I caught up with my friend Barry Flash Gordon from ACI. So let's take a listen to what Barry has to say about the ACI humidity sensors. One really cool thing that we do is we offer a humidity sensor that goes all the way down to 1% accuracy. Again, that is NIST certified. Um, some of the more standard accuracies are 5 and 3% and 2% get ordered as well. Um, we have a selectable dip switch, selectable right on the circuit board, analog output of 4 to 20, 0 to 5, or 0 to 10. Um, we also have a 24 volts AC or 24 volts DC input. So a lot of our competitors, you can only order a DC with a four to 20 or an AC with a zero to five or zero to 10. Ours is kind of a la carte. It's jumper selectable, all one unit. You don't have to order it at specific input or output. Um, we spec some of the lowest drift in the industry, less than 2% over five years, which is pretty darn good, pretty tight. Um, we are the only one that offers field calibration or validation right on the circuit board using the dip switches on our sensor itself. Um, all of other competitors do not have this function or feature. Uh, you would actually have to do the offset back at the control system. And depending where that is in the application or the space um, or in the building, that could be difficult at times. So keep that in mind. Uh, obviously output protected, like I'd mentioned, and it is available in a combination unit. So it's not just humidity. We can offer temperature sensor in there so you can have a temperature and CO or humidity sensor in the same enclosure. We have since added CO2 to this. I'll have to update that slide. We use a capacitive polymer-based sensing element. Uh, some of our competitors use a resistive element. And the difference there is a capacitor element, if you get it completely saturated or 100% RH, which sometimes spaces can get to that, it actually comes back to life. A resistive type sensor will not. It'll fail in the field if it gets higher than about 90% humidity. So that's the reason that we use a capacitive based sensing element. We offer it in a wall mount with a display, wash down areas, remote probes, duct and outdoor air. Um, I mentioned the NIST certificates that it's available in a one, three or five point. And like all of the sensors that we manufacture here at our facilities in Middleton, Wisconsin, they come with a five-year warranty of the entire product. Here are some other slides showing the different enclosure options for our relative humidity sensors. And you guys have probably seen these in the marketplace, but I always like to just show our product off a little bit more in these slideshows. Um, another thing that I feel we do different than our competitors is we do not batch test. We don't batch test maybe say one out of a hundred sensors. I've worked in the back here. I go to the back in the production facility here from time to time throughout the day. These people that work at ACI actually hand touch every single one of these products. We manufacture it by putting together first, testing it, putting in the calibration chamber. Every single one of these products is tested and calibrated before it gets shipped out to ensure that it's working properly. Again, some different mounting options. The Touch 2 is a temperature and humidity um, wall mount unit that has that can be displayed both temperature and humidity if you would like. It also has set point functions for temperature and relative humidity and fan speed control. Very cool, Barry. Appreciate it. Hey, if you want more information on ACI humidity sensors, you can check me out at strompwist.com uh, or you can go to the ACI website directly, work.aci.com.